Okie dokie. In this problem, they ask for f prime of x, the derivative of this function, f of x equals pi squared times x plus ln, or the natural log of 5. So, where do we start? This looks insane, but let's simplify really what we're looking at. We talked about briefly in one of the other problems that whenever we have the derivative of some function that's just a constant times x, so 7x pi times x, and so on, uh, the derivative is just the coefficient in front of that x term. So 7x has a derivative of 7, pi x has a derivative of pi, and so on. So when we apply that here, we have a constant pi squared times x. So the first part of our derivative will be pi squared, just that coefficient, and the x goes away. And then we talked about in the previous problems that when we have a derivative of a constant, c or 7 or pi, whatever, anything that's just a function equals some number, then the derivative is just 0. It may be weird to think of ln as 5 as just a number, but a simple rule is if we don't see x in here, which we don't, then this is just a constant. So anything that doesn't have x is just a constant, and anything that doesn't have x has a derivative of 0, because the derivative of any constant is 0. So pi squared plus 0 is just pi squared. So we are looking for c to be our answer. Let's go ahead and do one or two more of these. All right, so they say find f of p if f of, or sorry, f prime of p if f of p is equal to pi squared plus ln of 5. Again, big rule. Do we see p here? Do we see p here? We don't, which means pi squared and ln of 5 are just constants. The derivatives of any constants are 0. So 0 plus 0, just 0. So we break out the eraser to see that d is our answer. Let's go ahead and do one more. f prime of t if f of t is equal to this. All right, a little more complex, but let's break it down. t divided by 3. Let's think of another way we could rewrite this. So we're just rewriting the function, not finding a derivative yet. We could rewrite t divided by 3 as 1 third t. And then we'll just maybe rearrange this. Again, ln of 5 is just a number, and then that's being multiplied by t in this function. So here what we have are a constant times t two different times. So the derivative of a constant times t is just the constant. So 1 third t goes to 1 third, and ln of 5 t goes to just ln of 5. So we are looking for the answer with 1 third plus ln of 5. We break out the eraser to see that a is our answer. If you have any questions on these, please let me know. Again, pay very, very close attention to the input variables in this problem because they may try to trip you up, especially in something like this. Let's say in this problem, since the input variable is p, they might be evil and do something like this, ln of 5 times x and maybe pi squared times x. So you may think the derivative is pi squared plus ln of 5, right? Because it's just the coefficients in front of the x terms. However, if the input variable is p, then no matter if they have x or not, all of these are still constants since the input variable is p, and we don't see p in the mix here. And so this would not be the case even if there were x's here because the p is the input variable. So things like that, just uh, be cautious, look out for those, and don't get tripped up. All right.